This is very interesting in my mind because there is what the school you might call the British monetary orthodoxy. People like Perry Merling write in that tradition now. Uh, as a matter of fact, there are people at University of Chicago like Anhil Keshep, Doug Diamond, and others who do very rigorous work on the monetary transmission mechanism, the relationship of default risk to uh, how well the uh, macro tools work. All of these ideas have been there, but somehow they don't rise to the surface. Yeah. I mean, what we need is a, is a kind of eclecticism which has been, been missing. And the reason it's missing is that the claim that is being made is the method of science is that there is a, as it were, a universal truth which is drawn, developed by deductive reasoning. You'll remember the remarks by Ken Rogoff at the INET conference at Bretton Woods in which he described giving a presentation based on his book, This yeah. Time It's Different, yeah. which uh, looks at histories of financial folly. And essentially what they do is they observe patterns in behaviors of this kind. And that's classic inductive reasoning in science. It's the way of looking at scientific events that, as it were, assembles data and facts and sees what patterns you can derive from them. Rogoff recounted being asked by a graduate student uh, when he was going to get back to doing real research. <laughs> That's right. right. <laughs> because as far as that dominant tradition in economics at the moment is concerned, this kind of working back from the data to the theory, the inductive approach, is not considered, as it were, real science. Well, but when, when I go to the doctor, yeah. I sure hope the guy uh, is examining the patient before he prescribes the medicine. That's right. And more than that, when you, when you go to the doctor, you don't demand that he have a complete theory of the body and the, how it works. Yeah, Mr. Johnson just died. I'm sorry. Medicine isn't supposed to deal with those things. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's also true, actually, that the doctor may not know, and no one may know, why it is that the treatment which is being prescribed works. A lot of knowledge in medicine has, has come up from observing empirical regularities well ahead of understanding why it is that it, that it works. Mm -hmm.